Greetings, everyone. Welcome. We tried to start this traditional draft of Crimson Vow yesterday and instead ran into some technical issues. And when we finally did get into the draft, the queue was not filling up fast, partly because it's best of three late-ish. I say late-ish in a format. It's hard to know what late is anymore in a in the December format. Feels late, even though I think we're, we've got Vow as our main set for a while. I'm sure Wizards will provide us some alternatives before the next standard legal set comes out. Um, but in the meantime, we're going we're gonna to have fun with what they're offering up. And hopefully uh, <laughs> the queue will actually fill today because uh, we, we ended up um, having to bail on this and doing a quick draft yesterday. And I, YouTube, I don't even... Yeah, I'll put it up. I, I put up everything that I can remember to get to. Um, it's been a tough week for YouTube because I've really put them on the back burner uh, because I've been busy with retail. And that showed yesterday in my thinking, in my performance, in my ability to play. And I'm still a little bit fried. It's just a kind of a week where I'm fried and we're going to make the best of it and have fun with it. What I'm really happy about yesterday is that... Um, I was playing like trash and getting the results I deserved for it, but I wasn't tilting. I was just kind of laughing at myself. You know, uh, this it is an incredibly hard game. It's hard to just see deeply into the decision tree on your best days. And on your worst days, it can feel impossible. And the game can just juke you and uh, cross over dribble you and leave you with your ankles broke. You know, and that's what happened to me yesterday. But uh, I'm feeling a little more refreshed today, and I'll I'll be back to full strength by um, next week, I'm sure. But maybe tomorrow's gauntlet is like your best chance at getting this uh, this action because I'm not fully <laughs> recovered yet. Um, and uh, we're gonna have fun with it today and tomorrow. And I think uh, I may have to get my hair cut before the end of the year, whether or not you all uh, make me or not. Maybe I'll ask my mom for a haircut for Christmas. You know my mom would love to give me a haircut for Christmas. She actually thinks she likes the long hair, but um, <laughs> it'd be funny. All right. Yes, uh, it's possible that all of those mistakes yesterday were free. Arstall says, I think those losses would have happened even without the mistakes. That also helps with a tilt when I feel like, eh, I... I uh, free lessons in the sense that I was going to lose these anyway. But I also, whenever I catch myself saying that, that's just like the uh, the sour grapes of, uh, of magic. It's not that it's not true when you say it. You can say that and have it be absolutely true, but just watch out for using that as an excuse not to learn your lessons, right? I'd rather face the learnings from all the things I screwed up that didn't matter to the outcome and try to do them better when they do matter to the outcome. So, um, but yes, I, I do like to, uh, it can help me with the salt to realize, eh, we got some free lessons today. I, uh, I screwed up, but the outcomes were unaffected. Today, we're gonna see if the outcomes are affected by the draft. I know your outcomes can be affected on your kitchen table by cardkingdom.com or your local game store if you're into constructed. Uh, can't really buy cards for your limited FNM, but you sure can for, ooh, now the queue's filling up fast too, so that's nice. Anything you need to get going tabletop style, check out cardkingdom.com. You can check out my store too. You can, uh, of course, go through the store's official channels, or um, uh, I also have way more inventory than I have listed. So uh, if you have something specific you're looking for and uh, want to see if I've got it, I have a lot of uh, old stuff and a lot of kind of more modern staples, although I've sold a lot of those in this uh, sale run. Anyway, point is you can reach out and uh, ping me on Discord even if you want to talk magic retail for your, your needs. But really, the fastest thing to do is go to Card Kingdom and get there, get whatever you need right quick. All right. Hey, there's a planeswalker. I don't think I've have we seen Soren really? I don't think I've seen Soren in play. I think I've I've I think we read Soren during previous season, but I don't even remember what he does anymore. 
uh, besides look broodingly in the corner. Two black, black, four mana planeswalker. You can look at the top card of your library for plus one. Reveal that and put it into your hand. If you do, you lose life equal to its mana value. So you don't have to. You can look at it and go like, ooh, seven drop. No thanks. <laughs> but you can grab it and lose life. So, uh, but importantly, you can make a uh, uh, Vampire Nighthawk hawk token for defense. So that almost locks it in right there. As soon as I see that this, you know, a Planeswalker has uh, four loyalty and can minus two to defend itself with something as powerful as a uh, flying... Well, I, it's sorry, it's not a, a Vampire Nighthawk. It doesn't have Death Touch. If it had Death Touch, this would be insane. This is still good, right? Because it can come down and, and do the old defend itself thing. Uh, it's very big deal for planeswalkers to be able to make creatures that block well and then live and then you can try to get there on the value train after that only one other black card in the pack if this were better that would be sweet like following up with like a, a removal spell or something here after soren the mirthless and then leaving the pack empty of black would really set us up signal wise um but in this case, we're just going to look for the best card. Uh, what do you like here? There's no removal really to speak of to say, uh, you know, just take the easy removal. So then I'm looking at um, Weaver as a good ramp and fixer. Fleeting Spirit is annoying. Um, but I think, I, yeah, I think I'm on Weaver. Yeah, I think it's Spirit or Weaver. That's what jumps out at me. The Spider is somewhat interesting, but it's not in the Soren direction enough for me. I really want to try and play this card. So we'll just take the strongest vacuum card, I think. I think. More black cards that don't quite pull me into black to kind of protect our Soren pick. We could take the Socialite. It's not the best card here. If this if this were our situation, if we had, uh, oops, the computer broke and we accidentally goof grabbed two basic lands and we were starting here. You think it's just literally the best card? I don't know. I like Rally. Uh, I mean, I, sorry, I like Kindly Ancestor a lot. Um, and uh, it's gold, but Markov Walter did amazing work for us. But I think Kindly is like the best card. That being said, we do have a Soren in our pile, and I would like to play it. So since Socialite, in my mind, isn't that far behind, maybe I'm wrong, and it's just straight better than the Ancestor. But regardless, it's pretty close, and we have a Soren. So let's take uh, let's take the black card and see if we can't uh, force. I, I started to say force. I hate using the word force, but like lean into this lane and 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 um, give it a chance to happen. Hypnotist, yeah, Scavenger follows that plan, right? If we're going to take a black card, we take Scavenger as the best one. Uh, and then I'm looking at Blood Hypnotist and Infantry as appealing cards in the pack. This one hasn't seen... The, the, the plus one, plus one counters thing isn't just prevalent enough that you just get easy value out of this. And it, really, these escorts, you want to protect two drops when you play a one drop that protects like this. And, and this doesn't protect two drops, so come on. Uh, Sporeback Wolf. Oh, yeah, Sporeback Wolf as a, as a two is fine. I, it's just that I, I would rather have three black cards than a, a two-two split. Um... Oh, I've I've liked it uh, when I'm hyper aggro in the in in the vampire low curve vampire aggro deck. It has served me well, but that's been like one event. I'm not saying I have the the lock on that card or anything. Uh, Geist is a solid playable uh, traveling minister. A bit signally that this is still here, but Undying Malice is is okay. Uh, this doesn't save a planeswalker though. So I think, well, yeah, I'm in for the Minister. That's what stri strikes me as the signaliest thing here. And this is why I wanted to be three black cards. We, I'd much rather try to lock down the Soren play and then see what we're doing along with it. Uh, in this case, we could take a Scavenger to do that, uh, but we could also take another Minister and say, okay, uh, this is um, signally enough to, to do. Uh, but what do you think? It's like we could move in harder into the white um or yeah there's no need for more fours but if but we would play we would play four excuse me we'd play four so it's not like it's just we really start to not need any you know um 
Yeah, that's that's I think Media has the the decision summed up nicely. I'm gonna continue to lock the black. I don't wanna be knocked out of this uh Soren play. Resistance squad still here continues to give me some white signals. There's a doomed dissenter. Uh but between you know we're not really the sacrifice deck, and uh we got the minister. We don't really have a lot of other human action going on, so Resistance Squad is a little bit of a, a build-around still, but it's a hedge, right? This is like, well, this seems open. I think we can do this by the end. Evolving Wilds here is pretty nice, although uh, Gargantua could be justified, but a Wolf Strike maybe brings us back towards the uh, green direction. Storm Chaser Drake, also nice. Um, so I'm looking at these two. And if this Weaver of Blossoms were a an equivalently powered blue card, I would take the Drake. Uh, but since we have a Weaver, I'm going to take the Wolf Strike. We will always play Wilds Bruticus, uh, but it's not a power play there, and and uh, it's not a, a color signal. I, and I don't mind um, focusing more color heavy stuff early to to send those signals. Bat or Butler, I think. Yeah, this is a, a good sign for us. Like, we took Soren out of this pack. Yeah, if we're doing white, the minister works well. Let's take the bat on the hedge that we have a couple cards towards the uh, towards the white. I like that. Hey, this was the only black card in the pack, gang. Not great, again. But uh, if we end up black-white, it is a human. I it's a two. I would run it. Uh, I'll try to... <laughs> Let the record show it is not my wacky reserve the card by dragging it out and letting it go, all right? It is crappy. <laughs> anyway, point of discussion could... Uh, you think we're on... Gu yeah, guest uh, with the bat is fine, I suppose. You think it's great? I I've never found the guest great. Yeah, see, Medio's on point of discussion. I, I kind of let chat pull me into the uh, guest there, but... Now, do we really want another one? I think... Chat really loves the guest. I haven't seen it do much in the format, but maybe I've just uh, not seen it in the right contexts. Yeah, the wolf jumped out at me, but I'm feeling like we're not going to be green, Alexis, but maybe, maybe I'm misreading that, too. Well, we got the Wrath. Maybe we'll wheel this. I think we got to take the Wrath for the uniqueness of its effect. And maybe we wheel the Markov. Because uh, Black seemed pretty open, uh, which suggests White Black specifically might be wide open. I don't think we can count on a monocolored wrath to wheel, so I'm going to take that. Yeah. I, <laughs> sometimes Mehdi and I can get way off the same page, but right now we're both going, huh, everybody else loves guests. What, what, what don't we get? Like, I see that it has some utility, but I've just never, it's never, I don't know what it's, Job like a card like this says the job is either to do life gain synergies or help you survive to some late game inevitability. So I suppose if you're playing like the seven drop, uh, I win. I I'd love that. I'd love these in that. Uh, anyway, let's figure out our pick. We can take imprisonment. Um, ritual is twice as much, but dying to sir. Uh, I'm going to take the imprisonment, and I'm just going to let the clock run out here. Edgar's Awakening has played better than I thought it would. It's more of a, uh, in the discard, you know, if you make some blood tokens, it's really a cantrip raise dead, which I kind of like. Vampire Slayer or Knife, though. Do we have enough for the knife? Uh Checking on the knife is showing me where we're uh, where our big problem is, though, right? It may be that I need to just take Vampire Slayer here. Uh, 
we're early pack two, so we can, uh, we have time. Yeah, Slayer should wheel, but I don't love a should when I have like no two that I'm happy with. <laughs> so I'm gonna be extra conservative here. Soren is, can Soren, is, there's some like good vampires. Isn't like, I mean, Soren's just angel, right? You just gotta think of it in the angel context, and then, then it all makes sense. Uh, Arch Ghoul. But if we're gonna take a ghoul, let's take the two drop ghoul. Piercing Light. Eh. Yeah, I'm just on ghoul for continuing our, uh, to continue to shore up the twos, and we'll see what wheels from this pack. You like the arch ghoul? I guess it's you don't need zombies in the sense that it dies into a scry or whatever. Um, but it feels like mostly that's what happens, which is why it just feels like uh, it's an it's close enough to just like common power level that I'd rather uh, focus on that curve issue. Griff Rider, another one that has not done super well. My um, training is just not done super well because if you're not on the front foot, you're dead. Uh, very few cards. In have training and are you're happy with the base stats? We were naming like the uh, sharpshooter is one. Um, yeah, we'll take aim here. I like that, Rob. There's not much else for us. Um, and Griff Rider, my problem has been that I, I failed to get four powered creatures to attack with. And if you're only getting that Griff Rider to a three two, it's just not that impressive. And you've already you've already had to work to do that. So you work to get it to. A playable flyer and then um outside of that it, it just gets like if you have a lot of four power i like it a lot better yeah this is a uh a, a, a little concern but i i am not gonna there's nothing i, I was gonna pivot to front in there i think uh we might have just seen a, a pack that didn't have much of our colors that happens So I'm going to take Fangs here and be pretty happy about that. There's another Slayer, but uh, Fangs, first Fangs, I'm going to take over Slayer. And that's what, like, by taking that Slayer early, I gave myself a chance to take a Fangs there. And Dissenter to fill out twos over a third Scavenger. I don't love these Dissenters here, and, and maybe by the end of the uh, draft we've upgraded them. Uh, but I'm not going to leave myself this low on twos. And then we get another green card. I think this could bring us back to green. I'm looking at, I and mean, we have this by invitation only that we are interested in. And the note that the, um, yeah, no purifier. So interesting that no purifier, which we expected to come back, we'll get this wolf strike instead. I'm going to take that and we're going to keep the green lane as a possibility. And then we get a, a scorp that could fit in that plan. So maybe we just uh, listen to those signs a little bit and uh, and hedge. Do we like this though? Maybe. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> Ran out of time. And one one six drop removal would be fine. We got another pack to find it though. I'll take a specimens in case. Well, maybe I'll take the phalanx. Maybe we end up actually doing the uh, <laughs> the. We'll chuck somebody chuck it at for somebody for thirteen. Eh, not a great pack for us. We could take an ancestor to hold the white lane open, but I'd love to take. I think we take Gargantua because we know we're black. Um, this is better than Gargantua, but X percent to play an ancestor versus you know more like ninety percent to play Rot Tide, and we do have the Descenders. It's true, uh, and this Mind Leech Ghoul, yeah. And it looks like we're probably gonna have to play these. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that. Parasitic Grasp is a good follow or circle, but we're heavier black anyway. Let's take uh, the Grasp. Uh, 
Wolf Strike. With a couple Toxic Scorp seems fine. We're, we're, our removal's looking pretty decent now between uh, three Wolf Strikes and the two Scorps and uh, Gift of Fangs and Grasp. I feel like we have some answers. Maybe not to uh, six sixes that replicate demons, but we have some answers. Yeah, Scavenger 2, we have lots of Death Touch, don't we? Uh, Bloodseeker? Are we doing this thing? We do have, this is maybe where these uh, gluttonous guests do something for us. Yeah, let's play this. You think Bloodseeker's bad? I think I've been unimpressed with it before, but if we are playing two um, gluttonous guests and uh, Parasitic Grasp, you know, there could be some life gain themes going through, even though we're not white. I don't know. But yeah, we'll take Fountain here. I like that a lot. Uh, this is where I'd love if there was a Wilds. We got nothing. This is where best of three, though, so we'll take a Crushing Canopy. We might be able to do the uh, which splash do we want, or, you know, which second color do we want to run trick. Don't think we want two Undying Malices, even though I like the spell in the abstract. This doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I'm going to gem it. Really? I, I was kind of off white. Maybe I was supposed to still be looking at white. And then we get a Kindly Ancestor here still. Oh, well. I'm going to start on the assumption that I'm green, but maybe I'm not reading this correctly. Heck, maybe we're just mono black. Uh, it's the three wolf strikes with uh, two scavengers and two scorps. The, the removal suite is real nice. The wolf strikes are fine in the abstract. I think they're better in this deck because of the... Uh, the the quad death touch another ancestor to continue to make it an interesting call at the very least yeah don't sleep on the uh having more death touch than three wolf strikes wolf strikes Maybe I was supposed to get that white card? I don't know. But... Shade from Rob. Uh, yeah, we'll do Piercing Light. Yeah, we have... We can build either way. What do we do? What do we get for uh I'm just seeing if there is a mono black. There's not quite a mono black deck. So let's look at let's stack up what we like about green versus white. I'll get into deck building. This is what we like about it, not everything. So that's and I'm putting these here because of how they meld in with that plan. But really, I don't even care about the Weaver in this uh, in this deck. I, maybe we'd play it. Uh, well, let's see what's our human count before I assume that this we like the squad. We got three humans. Do you still like the squad, Coffee? <laughs> No. Yeah. White is way better. I think anybody who's saying way better is underrating the strike death touch synergies. 
two Scorps, two Scavengers, three Wolf Strikes is super real, gang. That being said, I will let you decide, and uh, we can switch in sideboarding even, um, but I'll, I'll uh, lean wherever our chat wants to go here. Majority rules, are we green or white? I think we're probably cutting both aims to start. Are we an Undying Malice deck, or are we just getting stuff back with Blood Fountain? What's our ETB? We got Gargantua, Scavenger ETBs. We got some ETBs, which makes the uh, Undying Malice a little more appealing. Kind of fun to Undying Malice a uh, Doomed Dissenter and make two two twos. All right, chat wants to try green first. It is an interesting vote, though. A lot of people on both sides, and we can we can switch if we want. Uh, and then that looks like the deck. I could put in the Weaver, but again, it doesn't really. It's not really doing a thing for us. Um, we are not splashing, and we don't aren't ramping anywhere. Um, so I think we leave the Weaver out, even though it was an early pick that started leaning us into green. Weaver over Malice, we still run it. What's our creature count? Yeah, we're also kind of low on critters as far as that goes. What else are we getting that we like about Knight? Maybe I don't understand my own deck. Oh, for the Wolf Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand my own deck. I was just so excited about the Wolf Strikes for the, uh, for the Death Touch. But yes, the Wolf Strikes are pumped by that. Anything else? All right, so Undying Malice called, Awakening called... Anything else stand out as imminently cuttable? Uh, these guests, I guess with the courier bat, I want to keep the guests in. And maybe these are okay. This, feel, I, I, this feels like an underwhelming card to me, but I don't have that much to replace it with. So I guess uh, you, you got what you got. And I don't want to cut any more creatures. So yeah, I think it's, uh, we're not cutting any of the hard removal. Yeah, it's one of these two. And I think we have enough ETB to find some use for the Malice. Yeah, it was I think it's super close. I think uh, we're in one of those spots where uh, in the universe where we go with the white deck, we have a, a similar win EV. I think we're on the page of uh, the Awakening. Uh, white versus green was, let's see. Um, let me name the deck. Uh, striking, I gotta, I gotta have a strike pun here. Death Strike, how about just Death Strike? Not a pun really, but it's the, it's the plan. I like that, three strikes. Or how about uh, you're out? We're well, just, just you're out. I like it. Uh, yeah, we could probably do some planning on the white a little bit, but we kind of saw what we would run. I don't know. I'll, we can do it in two minutes. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to love this build so much, we're not even going to switch. How about that?
and eight is a lot given the tiny amount of green, but we have two drops we want to play. I think it is a 9-8 situation. 10-7 maybe. What do you think? 10-7? I guess we also don't mind if the Scorps are a little bit late since their main job is to pair with the Strikes. And then if we play these later in the curve anyway, maybe we can actually get some of that ETB Death Touch enable attacks value. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do 10-7. I think that's correct here. All right. Where is my Free memes. We give it away around here. I don't think I want to... You could argue it, but not very successfully. I don't think you want to go to six sources. Yeah, I think six is just too few. Well, Soren on four says keep, but uh, this is asking for flood. I am going to keep, though. All right, got a three drop and not a land. Both, uh, both good things. I mean, this is not the, exactly the three drop we want, but it's something to do, right? And uh, Lan says it's all we got. It is a sorcery, so, and they're tapped out. I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, Oppo can keep up the nothing, although there's the flood. And it's not even flood, like, you just, it's just gonna happen on five lands. You keep a five lander, you draw just a little bit of land, and it feels like way too much land. Well, we got him out of the way, though. Yeah, because, uh, the, what's the name? The 2-2 the two -two wasn't good enough, right? <laughs> this is, like... Do we have that? I don't know, there is a wall. Where is it? Meme it up. I don't know what meme we have for this. But, uh... Soren... Soren uh, blocks that. Well, Soren doesn't, but Soren's minion does. I take no feel like they're gonna kill the flyer and kill Soren, but it makes him use a lot of resources. I, bring my own I could have sent that. I don't know why I didn't attack with my Death Toucher. I missed a point there. So virtual 18 on opponent. We'll see if that matters. Oh, yeah. Suiting up the vampire. So then um, should... Am I, what am I supposed to do here? Do I just let that happen? Um... Oh, no, I wasn't crying over my opponent's rares as much as I am, like, uh, uh, agog at R&D, like, saying the uh, the OG, you know, the 2-2 two, two for 3. Um, yeah, I guess we, uh, we chump to draw. All right. Gain a little life. Find a wolf strike. Wolf strike, one time dealer. One time? Yes! Got it! Got it. Let's plus, though. Dire times call for dire tactics.
Blood token not gonna suck either. Do you wanna uh, keep the Scorp or get their hand? I'm definitely playing the ghoul. I just don't know if I'm sacking. I, yeah, I could self-eat. We could, uh... Interesting. Interesting. Chat all over on this one, too. Yeah, but there's more wolf strikes lurking. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't right. It just feels good to tear up an opponent's hand, though. And look, we got an actual spell, it looks like. Wait. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, uh, not. Never mind. Not an actual spell. Just something that looks like a spell. Uh, now we're gonna um, make a vamp and drop a socialite and have a rummage up. You want a plus? I like more vamps. Yeah, I'm gonna go down and up, up, down. That's my pattern. You like draw with Soren? What, what what are we gonna draw that's that much better than a 2-3 black vampire creature token with flying and lifelink? That's what I'm gonna draw. They know about this. I'm gonna play it. We've uh, got so much land we don't need to worry about sandbagging at all for rummaging. And am I attacking? Nope. So just dropping the socialite. And two blood tokens, we can rummage twice before we're untapping. Although, uh, if we keep a blood, the socialite would like that. Socialite might have to be back on D anyway. We're probably uh, sending vampires and leaving socialites back to protect Soren. Yeah, Tapper Guy says we need extra blockers. We do have the ghoul, but I'm going to chew through these lands look for real look for real real action there we go guest helps look we can do all of this so we want a swamp uh, i was going to play a swamp no matter what but really truly i should have started with the uh soren and sure we'll reveal that um I want to let's see let, let's think about whether we need what we need to do before attacks here um, we could do guest blood seeker attack sack attack with socialite sack blood gain the life and do the flip right and then we have extra blocker back with the ghoul true the blood seeker doesn't have to come down until later but we should send in the we've got to play the guest first right we can even do dissenter as well or is it i better make sure sacrifice a blood token okay <laughs> it could be one of those things like whenever you rummage with a blood token or something i want to make sure we were actually getting what we wanted out of this They didn't equip, yeah, as you say, they didn't equip, so it's somewhat signally, but this is fine uh, for what we're setting up to do here. I love this turn. Oh yeah, it's not gonna flip naturally, but um, that's fair. Sorry, I, I didn't understand my own card, to be honest. Something about a reading stream.
Yeah, I just did think we were... I thought we were flipping at that turn, is all. Um, well, guess what I'm going to block? I mean, I think we should do this, right? Make them have it. They might have something here, but make them have it. Am I missing something? What's going on here? Eh, make them have it. I want to flip it because, like, three threes that drain end games? Is that controversial? But I get it. Blood is awesome, too. Oh. It's my reminder. It's my reminder to buy tickets to see Wet Leg at Sunset Tavern. We're going to have a ticket purchasing <laughs> break in a moment. I better win this. Actually, oh man. Hold on. Hey, comma, I'm in the middle of my stream, comma. Can you buy me a couple tickets to wet leg at 10 o'clock, question mark? Look, I'm distracted. Uh, let's do this and this. We'll reveal that. Make some blood. Now, how do I get this to work? The answer if you gain life this turn, create a blood token. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Sorry. There we go. And now I'm happy. I got my friend on the wet leg plan. I don't have to worry about it. Should I leave back for haste or something like that? No? All right. Waste them on flipping creatures that are about to kill Oppo. Yes, the uh, uh, playing out lands when I should be rummaging is another is a is a problem, but I, I do not regret uh, having a flipped blood soaked reveler up 24 to 10 on an empty board media. I know you winked though. You I, I don't think you uh, Wow, is that it? Oh, they got that back, right. Yeah, I'm a, I am still a little distracted, it's true. Could have probably cracked it. We still can though. We can uh we can loot we can rummage and crack. Draining was what I was thinking of, though. I guess that's where I didn't say it, but like I'm just trying to get him. Well, I kind of did say it. I'm trying to get him dead via drain here. And I will rummage the land, though. Drain is five, so we can't do it twice. Uh, that's pretty strong, though. We can do all that. Let's start here. I should probably activate Soren or whatever, but I also want to play quickly so I catch up on clock a bit. This might just cause him to scoop anyway. This is a tough, tough spot for Oppo. Serve me well. And let's see, if they block here, we get three, four, five, six in, in exchange for a zombie token. Um, we have one flyer on D. 
Yeah, I could keep two flyers back, but it's like if they... Yeah. If they... If they... Um, yeah, there you go. Let's <laughs> try to make sure we, we had it, and then Oppo was like, here, I'll make it easy for you. Felt like it... it our worst case of swinging with the flyer was that they kill our remaining flyer and get Soren. But if they spend that turn getting Soren, we just get them. Yeah, I think we can bring in the, the canopy here. And uh, instant speed destroy target enchantment can matter against these decks that are doing the, the disturb thing. So... I generally don't like running this unless we're hitting zombies. So how many zombies are we hitting? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't We don't know. We haven't seen any. Uh, we'll bring in can, uh, Crushing Canopy and... Maybe let's see what's our worst spell. Let's cut the malice for that. It was malice or like maybe pointed discussion, but I think we cut the malice for cleaner for this matchup removal. And we'll run that out. You like cutting fangs? You think they're a little too uh, three toughnessy? Or they just have vamps? I think I think fang still plays. Kill their um uh, Disturb tapper creature or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my misread. Tickets always go on sale. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. So we're good. But I'll just have to have them do that tomorrow. Uh, we'll keep this. Wolf Strike's not doing much with Doom Dissenters, but I'm not throwing this hand back. I panicked a day early. I'm very discombobulated this week. Nice to get a one drop. Don't mind that at all. Oppo with the same one. Hey, there's a five drop for our double dissenter draw. All right. Well, now we've got five lands already. Now we need five for their Gargantua, but we're likely to draw some lands in the next handful of turns, a land in the next handful of turns. So we could just go a uh, dissenter and rummage away a swamp here. I think that's probably the play. I'm gonna be the greedy enough for that. I mean, the, the downside is we never see an, a fifth land and stare at this Gargantua going, why, why, why? But uh, that's, a far less likely scenario than us finding a fifth land in reasonable time to make very good use of the Gargantua and increasing our card quality by rummaging the land. So no attacks. Yeah, mate, rummage first, sure, if I'm going to rummage. Find a better two drop, that's totally fair. Because like if we found a two power two drop, we could untap and kill the cav or something like that, right? A good point. If they send the stinger, do we double block? Yeah, probably, because I would even just sack a zomb resulting zombie token to the Gargantua, so why not? Oh, sorry, here, this is what we're going to do. All that talk about doing it, I better do it. Hey, that's cool, too. And But also, note, 
this would have been our draw. So hats off to the should have should have loot should have rummaged first because we could have had last turn rummage play mind leech ghoul sack a dissenter and right now have two two twos and them uh, down a card in hand and no good blocks. So way punished for my uh, bad sequencing. I think we're still in good shape in the game though, so that's nice. They get to train, but we get to block the stinger. Working on it. Hold on. I'm in the wrong place in my meme list. Where is my Rap oh yeah, they can make it fly. But if they do that, I don't I don't mind that they spent their turn on it. I think we can race this with our hand. Although that's a, they get a nice uh, easy sack of the Slayer, but if they sack the Slayer, we get in for um, four at least. And then uh, we can come back and, and make things close after that. You like swing bears, see if they block? Yeah, I suppose the chance of a, a block on the bears is worth it. I just don't think they will, but I uh, the, the, the the cost is attacking with a dissenter, which we could do anyway if they wanted to block the dissenter. That's also not the worst, but it's what we want to uh, sack to, um, to the Slayer. So it's a point of damage to give them a chance to uh, block with the Slayer. And if we're like, if... Right, we don't. That's why. Well, that's what I'm getting at, Tron. Um, if uh, if we just gargantuan now, oh, it's just, no, we don't get it anyway, right? Because uh, I would have to sack it. Yeah, so it's the same. N never mind. I've, I've, it's not one point of damage. I thought I was debating one point of damage, but I'm not because I have to give up my dissenter attacker anyway. So never mind. We're sending the twos, giving them the chance because it's actually not even a point of damage difference. I got there. And so did Oppo in the sense of not uh, blocking with the Slayer, but we'll get the Slayer now and have a uh, 5-4 that we can wolf strike with next turn. Hopefully, they could have removal. Now they could go... Do they have a knife? No, I, th I thought they might have a knife. They got a lot of artifacts, but none of them are the knife. They're just going for Sky Race. I'm kind of in for that, even though we're at 16 to 8 here. It depends on what they do here. If they come up with a really big three-mana play here... Yikes. If all they, if they, all they got is Rummage, though... Uh, now... We can leave a... We could like leave two tutus back. We kill the cav. This grounds the stinger. And um, you want to swing away and not protect. I guess we don't need to worry about the crackback from stinger. For Oppo or uh, for for us? Yeah. Well, we can all we can if they're if they have retribution, we can strike in response. So no worries. So I'm I am just going to swing away. You liked even waiting for them to pay to lift. Interesting. King wanted to wait and uh, kill their uh, their creature on 
on their turn. Although I was not going to not attack with a Gargantua. So, uh, oh yeah, I think maybe I've, is it? Yeah, sorry, here, let's do that. Is that vile fiend? Ah! Oh, and I don't want to do that. We're going to hold those lands. Remember my format. I'm going to reject Prof's request, though, and give that for free. Thanks, Prof. Scavenger is interesting. They don't have the mana for their blood fountain, so we kind of get to get them and gain some life to boot. Uh, this thing, they could discard a card to return it to the battlefield. Yeah, if they do that, we don't lose our creature, though. So I like sending two of three and then having Scavenger plus one of our two twos. Oh, because I kind of forgot that we had it. I, I, like, I, I think I've just forgotten that meme, honestly. Thanks for the reminder, Prof. Uh, so, do you like that? I think that's my line. They can first strike it. Um, that's true. But I still think scavenger plus one zombie is fine on defense, even if we just take the fleeting spirit. Hmm. Or yeah, or force or force the issue. So I'm gonna send and do it like this. That's what I'm doing. I do want to apply some pressure here. And scavenger with a little nice two point drain to affect the race in our favor. Oh, they're just going for it now. That's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm fine for having a, a zombie eaten here for that. I mean, they've got a blood fountain that they're uh, really making unusable. We're going to help finish it. Save us all, Bruticus. Yeah, that's true. We have reason to have uh, six, six lands for next turn. Uh, if we draw a forest, we'd rather have a forest as our sixth land, though. Um, I suppose holding two lands, though, just helps us uh, get extra wrecked by aim to the head or something. Yeah, we might even want a three drop, that's fair. Although we don't really have a three drop to get right now. Blocking the spirit kind of forces the uh, pitch the spell, pitch this to keep it alive, but I'd rather just block the stinger and take what hopefully is a clean trade. They can blood fountain it back, uh, but two life is a big deal at this point. Striking. Um, let's go.
I guess we are uh, cracking this and playing a blocker as opposed to, because I also like the, the, you know, getting the one, one blocker isn't the worst here. I'm going to do that. I do something. Dissenter and rot tie are fine. We could still just play the land and use strike as well. Uh, but strike they have an answer to. And dissenter is a nice block on the spirit. So I like this line. Oh, they can unblockable in my... Uh, oh, yeah, wedding invitation. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean... I guess I'm just sending the ghoul then. Right? We got to try and race this thing. And do we want to play the land? If we five, six, seven, if we drew an eighth, we could do both of these. So we do want to play a land. So if we draw another basic land, we can do both of these next turn. Look at me. I did the land math and made a, a, a sensible, thoughtful, strategic decision about whether or not to play the land in my hand. Whoa. Better than yesterday. Well, we're if we were nighttime, we just have the win here. Uh, as it is. Let's start with the Gargantua on our own scavenger. And... Oh, did I misplay? Very, very likely these days. Uh, but now we get to send both offer trades and just have the wolf strike ready. Oh, you think Oppo misplayed? Uh, yeah, we could kill this with shields down. That's probably sensible. Now what you gonna do? Huh, Rob doesn't like the attack. Are you, are you concerned it was too risky when we when we could completely clear their board? Why do we need wolf strike first? To make sure that uh that make sure that we weren't getting mucked with, that's fair. Slight sequencing issue there. But hey. Thank you. We got one! The camp is here! The camp is here! Nice. Very nice curve out here. Maybe these toxic scorps will enable a bunch of Bloodseeker attacks. Fair enough. Gonna weave it up now, though. If we can.
Please sack, please sack. Oh. Yeah, I need a land out. We're gonna rummage away this land, but need to play a fourth land anyway. Well, I, I could, uh, yeah, we would even have five mana here, but I'm not gonna give up the Blossom to the Gargantua. So we'll Scorpion now. Uh, double Scorpion seems less important to me than just getting in for two. Wait, I mean, yeah, we could... Although, you know, maybe I can actually do the thing where I should be uh, uh, rummaging. If I'm going to do this, let's do this and see what we find. And then we can decide. So, strike. I'm going to get in for two. Could take that block even with the scorpion behind, but it pro usually when people attack into your scorpion, it's because they really want it out of the way for their bigger stuff. So we're just going to take that. You like block? Well, there you go. I like... Uh... Well, it's interesting. If we just let the weaver go, we can um, wolf strike off the scorp next turn. But if we keep the Weaver, we can do that too. We can play the new Scorp and Wolf Strike with the new Scorp. So I'm going to let this one go. And then uh, go ahead and do that play. Oh no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> well, we got a five mana five four. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, well, uh, six mana. We could also. What else can we do? Can't get life yet for the excellent bat. I think we just. Play Gargantua for no sack, and then uh, have a 5-4. That's not bad on this board, really. You like Fountain and Scorps? I don't know. This thing is just trouble. I don't know what getting back both Scorps does for us, though. I'd much rather use this on more impactful creatures later. Well, let's uh, send the Gargantua. Um, might ghoul my own Blossom here, or a ghoul itself to get last card. Which let's see. Uh, let's see what they do blockwise first. Okay, they're looking to be more racy about this. Um, self sack mind leech with. Weaver activating Fountain at the end of their turn seems fine. What we get? Boo, just to land. Wish it would catch up. I shouldn't be able to race the graphic, race the card <laughs> to the exile zone. That, ah, hold on. It was just a misclick. I was trying to get focus. That's true, if we just wanted to sack the 5-4 and get it back. But I feel like waiting until it dies uh, on its own. You know, I'm patient enough to try and trade it in battlefield action. Well, this is awfully suspicious, but I call. I was going to... Activate the fountain anyway. If you can kill the weaver with something, go for it. 
Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. And then let's just crack this now, unless we want the weaver back. What are we getting back? Maybe we want the weaver back, and so I should float the mana and go into full control. And then we can, it's, he'll, it'll be in the graveyard while it's still combat and we have the mana. Because I do like it better than, than these. It doesn't work. All right, we're probably just doing this then. So I'll just crack this now. And we'll go Mind Leech and Scorp, get one of each. I like Weaver back, but chat is saying maybe I can't do that, so I'm just gonna do, do what I'm sure I can do. I could have done it. All right. I, 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 I just went with a sure thing. Um, and where are we at in this race? I hit him for five. They go to eight. They got seven on the crack back, but we got a toxic scorp. I think the scorpion says we have to be aggressive since they're top, top decking. Very, very carefully decline. They're sending three and offering Scorp, but not Serpent. I think we take the, you, you, you just take the damage. If we take this trade, these are gone. They trade here, these are gone, and we're the ones with a creature when the dust settles, unless this is bigger. Um, but I think we can take one hit here and see what we draw and see if this is anything, see if they play anything. Gluttonous Guest, not the worst, but yeah, Blood Token getting rid of this swamp is, is pretty okay. Uh, let's, even in fact, start there, I guess. Although, yeah, I shouldn't, I don't need to play this yet. Uh, we'll leave these back on D and offer the trade for the big boys. They, are they gonna, they're gonna go, I thought they might chump with Dissenter and just try to have a, a big crackback. And let's see, we do have, or do we take it out? We have Gift of Fangs and Undying Malice, so I'm gonna use green to rummage here. Pointed discussion is still good for us, but we can uh, get something with a scat. And we're going to go scavenger this turn, and no great attacks. We can, of course, we do have we can attack with a scorpion, but it doesn't do much. I'm going to scavenge now. Try anyway. Get that thing. Who mm -hmm. earns? I was gonna use that, Oppo. I had plans for that. Yeah, and then we draw land, of course. 
Uh, what? Well, now we're in wait, unless we want to offer scavenger. I mean, they only have three blockers. We got four attackers. If we swung away, we're actually threatening lethal. Um, but they have reasonable blocks with the three, three. I'm going to say no attacks here. It just didn't feel right, but maybe I'm supposed to be more, more aggressive with my death touchers here. Yeah, Scavenger said... Yeah, maybe I should be sending Scavenger. You're right. I think it was a mistake not to send Scavenger. We'll start doing that at least. But I want... I kind of like having one Death Toucher back. That's a draw. Um, now we're going to... Just swing away with Wolf Strike up. Because I'll take a ghoul, I'll take a two two for two two trade without using the strike. Uh, I guess the reason to strike in advance is so that they don't have a bounce block off the guest. Any sequencing thoughts on that? Um, get them into combat with the the instant at, at the ready, or use it. Yeah, strike does blow out a double block. And it does give plus two, that's fair as well. So uh, doing it mid-combat. Yeah, I like attack all now. Just hold, but... You mean hold hold until we're in combat, not hold, not, hold, not attack, right? I'm going to attack. I'm going to go with what my gut is saying and get in there and... Uh, have the wolf strike ready for win poss potentially win target game. Yeah, this seems fine. We just let this happen and keep continuing to hold the strike. Scavenger, a solid draw. We can even play the land and do both. Do we... And can we scavenge win? Yeah, it's nighttime, so it's just... Well, let's make him have it, because we win the game if they don't have it. I'm going to go for the win. Win acquired. Some interesting choices there. Interesting game. We're blue, black, exploit. Well, I don't see cutting the gargantua just because of the uh, of the egg. It just means that if they get us with the egg situation, we have to our, our gargantua becomes a five four for four. But it's still playable. Uh, yeah, aim. This is in, this definitely got some aim action, right? The zombies are out. So what about that for an undying malice for sure? And then I'm Gift of Fangs is Gift of they're showing some two power. I think gift or two toughness. Gift of Fang seems fine. Not a lot of, not any vampires really either. Uh the question is do we want another aim for the head.
Hate him over Gift. Hmm. Gift is only one mana though. I I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna go with one. But maybe I'm just supposed to find a spot for that. Yeah, I, I'm probably supposed to put it in, put that in. It's more like hard removal against this deck. So I'm probably being stubborn to not include both. I get it, but like this is why I like gift. I mean, this this could be an aim, right? And it, it would be fine. But I like having an early gift to slot slot into the curve. Well, we get both. Figure out what we want to do. I'm going to start with the Scorp, though. Not going to trade for the Ghoul. Not where I want to be putting that effort. Uh, Gluttonous Guess is a good draw. I think we go with that play here. And then next turn we have Discussion Gift or uh, Gift Strike. But I will attack first if I'm not going to uh, block that thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally not using Gift as offense it, until the very late game when I'm less likely to be punished for uh, setting myself up to get two for one. Oppo, not doing much. Didn't do anything on three, which is great for us. Mana up now, what does it mean? I don't know. But I'm going to drop a land. I don't really have attacks. Yeah, no pause, but they could have just uh, gone really quickly. I suppose we could rummage. I kind of like saving this since we have two things to do. I'm just going to gift the ghoul and start there and then uh, see what, see what uh, happens from this. And... Uh, that's again, that's not that I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that's the data point. That's the that's the reason I wanted to keep it in one mana to kill something more expensive and we get to play another spell. Was there a pause? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking. All right, I'm going to send in my attackers. Maybe they'll give it up. All right, well, we do have a Wolf Strike and a Scorp, so there's uh, plenty of reason to just pass. And nothing to strike here, but hey, they're using a Bleed Dry on our Toxic Scorp. That's not the worst. Now, though, we're unlikely to resolve Strike before we untap. Probably going to rummage away a Swamp. Discuss. I'm gonna go. We can do pointed discussion, and they can't syncopate us currently, so nothing to play around. All right, we got the bat plus the guest, so we can actually make that work if we had something to get back, which we don't yet, but maybe someday. Probably just gonna actually rummage another forest and not get bat value. Yeah, it looks like maybe not syncopate if there was no pause there. I'm not really, I'm too busy talking to, I'm not paying attention to pauses, but you all can uh, keep me honest on that one. Ugh. Oh yeah, Blood Fountain would have been a reason to rummage on my turn. We'll see if that, uh, Seems like that's a way to put a blood fountain to the top of my library based on how things have been going. Um, if I lose the guest, I don't get the life gain that allows me to get the guest back, so I'm just going to take this.
I, it, I was thinking of scenarios in which I did it in order to just get it back with the bat and kind of loop it, but there was no real purpose to that either. And, and we didn't have anything in the yard anyway, so it just really didn't matter. Um, we can aim for this scavenger's head and play another guest. You like aim to get two cards. That's true. We can play the we can we can uh, do something to kill this later. You wanna go mine rot mode? Two of their final three cards does seem pretty good. Alright. Let's do that. Okay, good. And yeah, guest number two and no attacks. Still not blocking there. Now we got a trade at least and Nothing to drain off of, though. Seven mana lets us scavenger with wolf strike up, so we are going to play the land and not uh, uh, save for blood or anything. Yeah, it's true. If we'd gone for the uh, aim for the head, it would have been a one for one for the cradle. They would have to spend mana, but that's about the only benefit we would have experienced. So n low value scavenger in that we don't have a uh, creature. I guess, yeah, we don't even have a, literally not a creature around, but we'll get rid of their bleed dry, I guess. Gonna hold that bat though. I like trying to trade off the scavenger, get it back in our graveyard. Uh, we'll draw a land, we can rummage it away, gain life, and then bat back our scavenger. That's my big plan. Well, Maybe I still strike their scavenger. We're low enough now that I think that's worth it. Because then we'll get ours back and we can exile theirs for some life for the, for the drain. Even got the basic land for the rummage, as I said. Look at that. Oh man, which one? I mean, I guess I got to do this now because I'm not sure we're going to gain, gain life next. Although we will, right? Because we can go now. Nah, yeah, I should do this one now. I still got to do bat for the trigger. I was trying to figure out a way to just do the bat next turn, but this makes all sorts of sense. Oh, yeah, sir, I should have attacked. We're I'm feeling defensive with these 1-4s, but a point of damage is worth it. Just a mindset of defensiveness with 1-4s and being at lower life. Now, I, look, we can... Uh, well, it doesn't really enable it because they block the other one, but it's kind of funny. Uh, we got scav plus three more, so we can scorp and scav. Um, I, I would probe for pauses, but they're going to be there for that. Doesn't really matter, actually. Let's start with the scorpion. This doesn't really matter either. Again, they can just um, block the non-death touch one, but maybe they'll screw up. Give them a chance to. Uh, I I feel like not sending him last time was a mistake. Now you're sending, saying it's a mistake to send? I don't know. I like sending for the... Yeah, you just feel like it's a free point. Yeah, I guess it's free defense since they have the, the easy block. I see where you're coming from. I'm just trying to heuristic myself into something more aggressive here. But yeah, that, that, that it's basically... 
very minor. Like this could be untapped. That's the bottom line, but that's the only difference. Oppo does have cards. Is it going to be enough? Every one of our creatures can attack into a 1 3. I just say, if they're still playing lands, it just probably means they got a bunch more in hand for the blood. Yeah, I think it's just both. There you go. <laughs> Played lands and rummaged lands. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Now then. How do our attacks look now? Well, we can still send the Death Touchers. Flyer no longer has a good attack. Well, Courier Bat can go in. I guess it has a bounce block that we can make him take, make him, make him do. But yeah, I guess we can swing away without consequence. Without negative consequence. No creatures to get yet. What about our yard? It's funny. Nothing. We haven't been able to drain with these because there's no creatures to get. We saw the uh, recover an instant sorcery. So which one? Two, two of four versus the rare. We'll, we'll get rid of the rare. Flying zombies. Uh, well, we're not getting anything from them, but we can sack the dissenter for a better creature or the scavenger to get it in the yard. None of this matters too much. The battle is in the air right now. I'm just going to upgrade the dissenter, I guess, but I'm not. It's just a minor thing. Could send in the scav, and it still has annoying attacks. I guess we send our death touch, death touch, and then leave everything else back. But basically, I'll trade for my death touchers at this point. They have Stitcher that can upgrade here, though. Yeah. Rare is coming out and doing work for Oppo. Looks like we might have to try and find a win in game three in nine minutes and some change. I'll play this as quick as I can as our, as our hope here is fading a little bit. I think I got to make uh, trades. Yeah, let's see about that. We find a blood fountain and get some of our critters back or something. Land is not going to help us. Uh, again, we have the death touch attack. That's about it.
yeah, we'll try and bring in the other aim, but honestly, if we are want the aim because of Giralf, like, we need to kill Giralf, <laughs> or we're gonna be dead anyway. The sack interaction is set up, so basically we need something to help us win pretty quickly, or, um... Do we, ha we have a ritual? I, didn't think, I thought we were playing all of our removal. Maybe I forgot our own ritual. Uh, I'm going to quit and try to win game three. I don't think we have a win here. And I got nine minutes and I know myself. Yeah, I don't... I, I didn't think we had a grizzly. I don't know where that thought came from. It's some other draft. Yeah, we haven't really talked about pivoting to white. Um, I think our I think the green was correct. I'm gonna, but uh, we will play another aim. I kind of want to keep the gift though, so maybe I could take out pointed discussion. Yeah, that's my that was my point. We are going to run another aim to the head, but it does not kill Giralf. So seeing Giralf make stuff fly and make big zombies in the air as a reason to bring in aim doesn't it's not really solving your problem to use pinpoint removal on the token creature your opponent made with their rare bomb that being said enough zombies that we should just play the other one we haven't even seen the grasp yet uh our removal's looking pretty good here 14 critters we could Maybe I just let the gift go then. Although, again, you saw how it slotted in. Fits one mana, tempo play. But it's not getting amazing stuff. It's getting two and maybe three mana creatures. Weaver is a cuttable card, but we did like the night-day cycle going for the wolf strikes, which did matter um, before. Uh, but we, yeah, we could cut that if we just want to go removal town. And we're never getting day-night then, but that's, it. it's like the strikes are not, yeah, Socialite was the other one I was looking at. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut the fangs on Mike's suggestion, on Mike's thought. I just feel like I don't want to go too low on creatures here, and we have decent removal. We added two more pieces of removal. I think we can cut our worst piece to upgrade there if if that's an upgrade i mean that was the debate last time right all right keeping third land is good to see i'm going to start on dissenter in case we find exploit off the top we want to play and it's no better or worse than really a scorpion in this early game situation aim for the head is interesting but we're going to blossom it up now and not offer a dissenter attack or anything Let's see, what do we have at instant speed? I, the thing is, I want. I guess I want to cast the, cast the discussion to find a land. Yeah, we could trigger knight, but uh, playing a fourth land doesn't suck. I'm going to go for that. I know they've got Giralf out, but we got time. I'm not worried about nailing Giralf immediately. It's not a super problem yet. Oh, yeah, I should have scorped. I forgot we had Blossom. That's right. We, we can still do it all next turn. Surprise him. Yeah, having and landing an egg would be want want. I risk, and we're risking it. Risking it for biscuit it. Maybe I'm just supposed to kill on sight, though, and not mess around.
Maybe we can try a wolf strike mid combat and ground some of the zombies. But that's again living, giving him another window, so risky at the, at the very least. All right, I'm playing this land, even though we could rummage it. Oh, why am I being hasty? We got six mana if we play it, five if we don't. Um, yeah, we're going to do Scorp striking Giralf. The question is when. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's go Scorp. Can send in the dissenter. All right, so I'm going to hold up Wolf Strike here. So. We can strike now, and then the ghoul falls towards the earth, and all Giralf has is turn the ghoul into, you know, s sack the ghoul. So let's do that. I mean, yeah, that's true that the cradle might be up. But let's don't, I think we have to try. Hmm. Or we could we could wait. Actually, let's take this because if they do something second main that uh, taps them below cradle, that's going to be very good for us. Let's take the two. We do have to try, but we don't have to try right there. Although now they have left up cradle, does sure feel like a well protected bomb, and uh, maybe I should have. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's do this then. I think they kind of get us here. But I gotta go for something. This is what we expected. Let's give ourselves a chance to find another one. We we knew this. We saw this. But at some point, in fact, we probably have to. Uh, well, I can keep the aim. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold because I like uh, aiming for their final two cards at least. And then rummaging the forest. And I'm going to play the Scorp now. Have a couple of those. And keep sending in a dissenter, I guess. Not like they're attacking on the ground, but... Sure, here's a point. Oh, I thought, I was thinking we uh, couldn't send that one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, they're... although we do want some defense on the ground if they're going to play it, if they find something to, although we killed their hand, so we're make, making them top deck. And now we're closing in on... Let's see, we've got uh, nothing in the yard. Gonna have to send away this land and look for an answer. That's not an answer. That's a question. Why me is the question. Yeah, we did. A little sloppy play in this game on my part. Another one where I don't think it made a huge difference. Uh, I think the thing that made a difference is we could have, we could have, we had a chance to get the Stitcher. That's the, the mistake to acknowledge, or the choice to acknowledge at least. I took a chance on letting this live for a turn, and it got us, right? So I got to own that.
Yeah. All right. They got it. I'm going to concede this one and uh, I'll be right back after a bio break and we'll see if we can get some gems out of it still. All right. Hold tight. All right. Maybe could have found a win there, but I didn't. So let's try to get one more, though. I wish we had a green source here, but to center into bat is enough for me to keep this. Even though that's not a brilliant opener, I'm going to keep it though. Uh, I draft off air. <clears throat> it, 
Are you asking like on stream? Like my thing is generally to do one draft on stream. Yeah. Do I draft more than once a day in the abstract? Yes, I on average draft more than once a day. Although these days it's been you all and that's it. Uh, I guess we'd descend her first. Although with Wolf Strike, getting a Scorp online makes some sense. Foppo plays another Geralf or whatever. We would want to be able to do that. The reason I did it this way, though, is because Scorp giving Dissenter Death Touch is at least a sequence that potentially adds some value. So that was what I was thinking, but probably better to just have set up Wolf Strike. Now the question is, do you max mana with a courier bat play, or do you just go ahead and scorp it here and uh, try and save the bat? Um, bat does something about the bearer, and Oppo stuck on two, yeah? So we should probably get in the air, or were we on the play? No, maybe Oppo's not stuck on two. Regardless, I'm going to play the bat. Oh, they are stuck on two. How you doing, D? How's that kid? Got a lot of new babies around this place. You know what I mean. Uh, all right, let's not uh, waste time. I'm gonna offer both of these on the attack and then, oh, brilliant. Brilliant, thank you, Oppo. They might have a syncopate, that would be a good play for them, but we're going to make them have it, of course, with them being screwed and whatnot. It's got a couple of ways, though. We got the, the uh, double... Uh, we've got Parasitic Grasp, which is in hand, and we've got the Guests. Six hours in a row, gotta feel good, hundy. Yeah, we're gonna play Scorp here. It's not much of a pile on, but we'll take it. Well, if it's against a human, it doesn't need six, right? get away with it for five and also six mana isn't a big stretch all right well what we know is they let us there all right it's another it's blue black we can assume some exploit uh we could bring in an aim i think that makes sense for an undying that's a move we've made in the face of especially black blue but I don't know enough about the deck to bring in a second aim. At this point, seems like it could be good, but I think this is a fine place to uh, swap for the second game anyway. Yeah, the, 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 the new kind of love comes with a new kind of worry as well, that's for sure. Turns out, kids are pretty dang tough. I mean, don't put that to the test, but like, humans can, t it turns out, take a lot. Um, no sack ghoul? Yes. Both throwing it down now. We'll go Weaver though on three. Set up a uh, possible Gargantua. We don't have the sack fodder, but we could Blood Fountain back some sack fodder. 
in the ghoul, although it's not really worth it. Anyway, we'll play the spell we got. There might be one waiting on that front, Tron. Uh, I actually have some additional memes to load this weekend. I'm probably not even going to get to it today. I'm almost caught up in my retail, but I have one more. I, I, today, After a stream today, I got to pull 120 cards from my collection and put them in the right order and ship them. So probably going to take up the rest of my afternoon to get that right. Uh, yep. Especially the uh, mobile, <laughs> when the mobile era begins. Yeah, exploit's real bad here. They've got so much fodder, like, Rot Tide is not at its best at this moment. Um, do we still play it just to have a 5-4? They don't have Death Touch. We probably need to play it just to have a 5-4. Uh, I mean, what's our other option? We can, um, yeah, I'm just gonna run this out to uh, have Beef on board. Guest and loot is fine as well, but I, I'd rather... Okay, now they have Death Touch out there. That makes it a lot worse. But on the board we saw, I really liked Gargantua out there. They didn't even have enough power to trade for it. Now we have a Blood Fountain, though, so I'm still going to make the offer, and then we'll Blood Fountain eventually. You like guest loot first? Eh. I know I'm going to make this offer. The benefit of I'm threatening mana is something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go guest here and then we can rummage away the other forest before we untap. Oh, because I'm I'm just not I'm spacing. I'm play you know. I'm playing fast. Is this is just the curse of it. Like if I if I stop to think about everything, I play too slowly, I lose my clock, and I uh I lose on clock and I I'm and I make bad TV because I'm taking too long to see everything. But if I play too quickly, I miss stuff like that. And really I think in the end it's probably better for me to play quickly and miss a few things. Chat gets to feel smart about uh, calling out the things I'm missing. I get to reinforce my bad habits uh, as a, my awareness of my bad habits as I attempt to address them. Um, but me making bad television, trying to play perfect magic would just be, I think, a worse combo. I didn't know. That's a cool treatment. I haven't seen that frame before I like that. But yes, yeah, so I will also try to read chat more. Mike's got a good line, a good point there. Let's not compound that mistake. We'll get another guest out before we rummage. Oh, interesting. Aim for the head for the last two cards seems just fine. Let's start there. We could exile a zombie for some effect too, but I, I like this a lot. Let's see what let's see what we get. Boom boom. Yeah, that did not suck. Um, if we play the guest, I'm going to play the guest pass and we'll save the forest for next turn rummage. I'm not going to stream the open probably. I have so far I haven't done that. It's not out of the question D, but I'm going to call it unlikely. I just I have a very tough time streaming on weekends. That's another thing I've learned. Like I really have established the weekend as my weekend. This is where I'm not streaming. <laughs> and I, I don't wanna lose my weekend. And let's start with a rummage.
to center. Uh, three, four on this board. Grasp is an instant, so we can blow out a double block. Yeah. Let's see if they want to try a double. It might just look like we're willing to trade it off because we've got the uh, blood fountain. But they're just going to go for that trade. I think we go ahead and grasp the socialite now. We could, I guess, grasp the socialite if they make blood and try to pump it. But I tend to want to do it... here. Or, you know, heuristically speaking, before shields are better up. Yeah, you want to leave this for now? I suppose we get our chances later and we're at 15 life, that's fine. This I could have thought around, oh, at least, like, we lose our rot tide here, but the cost of saving it would have been to force the blood fountain last turn. That doesn't seem like it would have been correct anyway. All right, another rummage works for me. With the, yeah, I guess that's technically with the with the cleave, but I, we don't really have two double green. We don't have uh, double green spells, so that's why to use green. Um, now we got a wolf strike and a grasp. We can cast both if there's any humans. There is a human, but not that we want to use a grasp upon. Uh, both of these are instant, though, so we can pass the turn, flip the wolf, and then we'll have both. So, want to do that? Let's, let's flip it. Oh, it is already night. Never mind. Hey, 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 gang. I still need sleep, remember? So we don't need to do that. We can do it right now. Um, so do we want to? Or how about uh, swing away and see what blocks? Although they're just going to block with the scavenger. We may as well start with uh, um, grasping the scavenger. But I can't attack with the wolf or else we don't have the mana. So it almost is like we're just firing this off and passing anyway. Grasp using 1-4? What do you mean? I don't understand that comment. I understand Grasp Scavenger. Oh, yeah. If you're talking about strike, that makes sense. Yeah, then I could have attacked even. Oh, well. See, I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to mess around. But I should have attacked. So if I was going to do that, I should have attacked. My bad. Again. So many decisions in this game. Just getting all the wolf strikes, though. Chance to redeem ourselves. <laughs> oh, that's true. I flipped it today. Oh, well. You see that I just need to... Uh... I don't know what I need to do. It's just a hard thing to do. I just need to accept that, I guess. So now maybe we pass with... Uh, and we'll have all the mana up on our on, on their turn. And we can even do the, uh, oops, no, 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 no. And we can potentially get the wolf strike fired off in response to the socialite sack. Looks like they're not even going to do that anyway, though. Getting the land rummaged. 
So now seven mana, we can Wolf Strike and Fountain. Boy, I feel like I've not been doing my album homework, uh, D. So I don't even have a good, a good, uh, a good album to name for that right now. I'll think about it though. Maybe I'll do some cramming in December to better answer it. What do we have to get? Do we have anything to get? We don't have anything to get. So the, this doesn't even matter. Uh, we keep getting our stuff exiled. Um, and uh, is there anything to strike here? We can strike the socialite. Well, we have spare mana and create attacks. I think we do that. But well, actually, again, with the, it gives us power on our turn. So let's do it on our turn. I, I like uh, trying to get the, the uh, point of power. And I'll try not remember not to make it daytime as well. So not two wolf strikes here, but we'll do the first one. See if it resolves. See if we get the pump we're looking for. No pauses, so that's good. And really, we just get to swing away now. This is looking very good. How am I doing? I've already got a win in 17 minutes. Uh, as much as I do need that reminder, I think we're very good here. And zombie doesn't have great blocks. They can trade zombies and that's fine with me. We're gonna just swing away and hold the strike. And hold the land for looting and rummaging at this point. Uh, so this is where I want to pick off the bearer, or do we want to just kill this thing? If we pick off the bearer, they can't exploit without being creatureless. If we let this happen, they sack the bearer. They might go for even uh, making it fly, in which case we strike after. Um, yeah, we can at least let it go on the stack. And then, yeah, then you like, kill, kill assistant. Okay, fair enough. Let's do that. Oppo learning what I didn't. Yeah, and then the shame scoop. <laughs> Mike found the perfect line, which is cause Oppo to shame scoop. Don't be shame, Oppo, it's a hard game. Look at what I've done today, come on. <laughs> no worries. No, Oppo, <laughs> the, the UI's like, Oppo, no, no, are you sure? I'm sure, are you sure, Oppo? Uh, oh, okay. Well, maybe in my condition, I should be quite happy with a uh, thousand gem return on that. I do feel like we had a shot at that middle match. Of course, if we had won the middle match, who knows how the final match goes. Might have still ended up as a 1-1 one -one situation. Um, anyway. I made it, though. I made it. In a very exhausting week, I am uh, still got my chin up. I'm fumbling a lot on stream. It's a little bit of an embarrassing week, but the humanity is real. You you can see <laughs> some weeks are better than others and your mental state and your mental preparedness and your focus are real factors in how much how many mistakes you're making. And I'm off my game this week, but I'm going to own that, embrace that and say it's just all more evidence and data points of this complicated game we play, and it's all right. Thanks for hanging out, YouTube friends. See you at the next one.